Question one's a pretty straightforward start to, with a binomial expansion. Um, although there are a couple of tricks with it, it's not the most straightforward. But there's no, there's no, no, nothing that we shouldn't be aware of. The first thing to do, of course, is to think of that as four plus three x to the power of minus three. Uh, and now we can only do binomial expansions if it's one plus something. So we need to take the four out. Remembering, of course, it's the minus 3 belongs to the 4 as well, and divide everything inside by 4, taking the 4 out as if it were a factor like that. Now the reason they tell us that the size of x is less than 4 thirds um, is because 3 quarters x has to be less than 1 and to make this expansion that we're going to do valid. Now the expansion that we're going to do then, by the way I've got two marks so far, the expansion that we're going to do, I'm going to take out the 4 Write the 4 to the power of minus 3 now as 1 over 64, and the expansion is 1 plus n x plus n n minus 1 over 2 x squared plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 over 3 factorial, I could have written 2 factorial there of course, same thing, x cubed. Notice I'm saying x but I'm writing 3 quarters x because that's because when I say x I mean this bit here, whatever's here, and it might even be negative in some expansions, and the n bit is this number here, so that's n, n minus 1, n minus 2. Usual binomial expansion stuff. Scrolling up then to give ourselves a bit of space, I'm now going to work out what all of this is. Uh, I might as well do it in one go. Uh, so we end up with 1 over 64 times 1. Then 1 over 64 times minus 3 times 3 quarters, which is minus 9 over 256x. Then 1 over 64 times minus 3 times minus 4 times 3 times 3 divided by 2 factorial times 4 times 4. Remember the 3 squared and the 4 squared need to happen. It's not just the x squared that we do. Uh, and that gives us 54 over 1024. So 27 over 512 x squared, hopefully. And the final bit is going to be negative because this 3 negatives here. Minus 3 times minus 4 times minus 5 divided by 3 factorial, which I know is 6, times 3 cubed divided by 4 cubed, and all of that makes uh, we'll call, me, 1, 135 divided by um, uh, 64, 64, 2048 that says 135 at the bottom, uh, x cubed. And that will get me the full uh, six marks, hopefully. The next part to the question says, in the binomial expansion of something very similar to what we've just done, uh, the coefficient of x squared is a, we're going to find pop part a is. Now it says all otherwise, you could expand this from the very beginning, but you'd expect six marks for that, we're only getting two. So we really should use should use their big clue here that we've done the hard work. The difference here is that the x term started off being uh, 3 quarters x is what I used. The x term when we take the 4 out of this one is going to be minus 3 times what it was, in other words it's going to be minus 9 quarters. So wherever we've got 3 quarters we're going to replace that with minus 9 quarters, minus 9 quarters, minus 9 quarters. Um, and when we square, we're only interested in the x squared term for this question, so when we square the minus 9 the quarters we're going to get um, 3 times 3, we're going to get 9 times as big as our answer to this. You could work out this whole thing with minus 9 quarters there if you really needed to. But all of this is the same, that 4 is the same, the only difference is the 3 is replaced by a minus 9. In other words, it would be multiplied by minus 3, and we're going to square that, so we multiply by 9. So in total, our answer to what a is, for part b, a equals 9 times 27 over 512, uh, which is 2... 243 
over 512. Please don't write uh, x squared on the end there. We're asked for the coefficient of x squared, so don't write x squared as being part of its coefficient. You will definitely not get full credit if you did that.